Hey everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about uh, water physics volumes, okay, and how to add them to the landscape. And I'm going to do a really kind of an easy tutorial, so that way everybody can kind of follow along and to keep it simple. And then I will try to walk you through kind of an advanced way of doing it, okay. Uh, so let me go ahead and I'm going to open up the Conan uh, map. So if we go to our content browser, we're looking for um, the Conan map, which you're going to go to maps, go to Conan Sandbox, you're going to open up the Conan Sandbox. And this is going to be a live tutorial. So if I say hello to people, that way you guys know out there in the audience when you listen to this on YouTube or something, you'll know that it's a live uh, tutorial. I don't do them often, but I figure I'd do a few today to kind of knock some things out for some questions that people had and some requests that were made. So, okay, I'm going to move that over to there. And all right, so what you're going to do is when you load in, obviously you're going to load in this. If you've been following along my tutorials, you see this is the persistent level, which is the Conan Sandbox level. So now, the easiest way to do water is coming over here and going over to Semper Maru. Now, Semper Maru has physics volumes with the water meshes. Okay, so now the water meshes are currently should be um, on, I believe it's two one or one two. So let's let's go ahead and open up the world composition map here, and we're going to kind of zoom out here, let it kind of load in, right? Kind of zoom in here. That's kind of hard to see, but I believe this is water here. So I'm going to try to open up the correct map. I think it's one three. So we're going to open up, we just opened up a camps level. And it's kind of hard to navigate with uh, the um, world composition because now with all the different uh, levels, here we go, one, three. So we're going to end up accidentally opening up camps levels and stuff like that. So I'm going to just go ahead and unload that one quick. And goodness gracious, that's the last thing I needed when I'm doing a tutorial is a phone call. One sec, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Battery 90%. Battery 90%. Okay. All right. We're back. Sorry about that. Okay. So, always has to happen when I'm in a live stream. Okay. So, now uh, we are going to 1 3. So, we're going to make sure 1 3 is open. And I'm going to quickly show you as it loads up. So uh, hopefully everybody's uh, enjoying the tutorials and it's been a very helpful for a lot of folks. And um, I'll, I'll try to make more. It's just, you know, like I said, my situation, cancer and all that, it makes it kind of hard. And then I'm trying to get other things done too, some personal work and then my custom map. So um, you just have to kind of bear with me. All right, so we're on 1.3 and we're going to come down here and you're going to see the water mesh, okay, right here. Right now I can't click on the water mesh, so what I'm going to do is go view current level only. And I'm going to type water. And you're going to see the uh, static mesh planes kind of highlight in your world outliner. That way you can actually click on them because now you can't click on them directly. You have to actually get them through the world outliner. Okay. So now the best way to do this is, is kind of pick one of these ponds. All right. And probably the best one to kind of work with, I think, is this one here. Let me double check and make sure I'm not lying to myself or you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we got the water mesh, and now it's it's highlighted. And let's go ahead and go type PHY for physics. Let me see if it'll show up under that. It may not. They, I know they've changed some things around, so when I look for certain things, things don't show up. Okay, and current level only. So let's try um, PP for post process. That's not working. Okay, let's type post. And that's not working. Okay, great. I love it when it does that. All right. Let me make sure our levels are good. Oh, let me make sure that's unloaded. And it didn't unload. Thank you. All right. So we're on height map 1.3. All right. There's the post processes. They showed up here. Okay. 
So what you want to do is you want to come down here, and if you notice how the water changes kind of to, or the area changes to a blue and the water blurry, that's your post process causing that. And then over here, I believe we have what we call our physics volume. I look here, or our nav mesh, sorry, our water nav mesh. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you grab the water nav mesh. You want to grab the post process, okay, which we got that. And now we need the physics volume, the, the volume that gives you that feeling that you're swimming in water, which is this volume here, okay? And now we got the static mesh all highlighted too, okay? So now what we should be able to do is go control group, control copy. Now when I leave this level, it's going to ask me to save. I don't want to save the grouped levels, or sorry, the grouped items. So what I want to do is just go ahead and um, make sure that I have it selected and I'm just going to grab this and go okay well we got that part of the group control Z to put it back in a position now I need to get that water so once again get the water as soon as it uh, searches come on water get me water uh, it doesn't want to be nice it wants to be a pain view in current level only of course so we go to current level only and we have our water, but we want to get the correct water mesh, which we have. It's highlighted in yellow. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on our group. So any one of these lines that I grouped, we have it. Okay, so now we got the water mesh, we got the physics volume, we got the water nav mesh, and we got the post process and the physics volume all selected. Okay, control copy or control C on your keyboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to uh, our content folder here. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the almost level map uh, just for an example. So if we go to the dev folder and we type almost, or it's right here, open up the almost, and it's going to ask us to save. Let's say no, don't save it, because you don't want to save any changes you do. Otherwise, it'll go into your mod folder. Okay. All right, so now we're back here. Right click. I should be able to edit, paste it here. There you go. So now we have our mesh. Okay. And we have our physics volume, we have our post process volume. Okay. And you can move them around and stuff because they're all grouped. Now, when you go to ungroup this, and you notice that this is kind of cool, um, whoever, whoever the developer was kind of has this large giant box out of nowhere, which is great. Shift G to break them apart. So now we've broken it apart. So if we click on this volume, we can find out what it is. It's the nav mesh uh, volumes modifier. OK. And don't ask me what it does, because I have not looked in it completely for. But I believe it's something to do with water and how the how it can affect the water mesh and navigation. Um, it might be something for a future thing. I don't know. Um, I believe it could also be used for AI, water AI or something like that. But I'm not quite fully sure on that. And I had, like I said, I have to research that a little bit more to understand that one and why it's there, because you got the nav mesh volume, which does. Um, Nav mesh uh, for AI on land, so that might be something to do for separating it for water, perhaps. And they were they had some plans, but they haven't got it in there. Okay, so now we have what we call our <clears throat> our uh, make sure I got that one. Which one is it? Okay, our post process, I believe. No, our physics. So this is our physics. Okay, and this is what gives you that effect that you're swimming. So if we hit play from here, and hopefully this won't take long. And the thing, the reason why I'm showing you how to group it is so that you can group kind of all the items together that you need to do water. That way, the post process is all level because the, the developer has already gone ahead and set up everything. So everything's like matching. OK, but if you pull them apart separate and you start moving them around, you're going to struggle with trying to line up everything. OK, and that can be a big Big pain in the butt trying to get the post process to hit the water just right because you're surf you're swimming on the surface, and you might have noticed in some areas in the game that there's like a, a bit of like clear like you can see clearly across the bottom then it turns blue or fades in with the water um feature. Uh, that's why it's it's because the camera's hitting the mesh, the water mesh, the post process, and the physics in different angles or different uh, levels as it's adjusted. So. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you an example of that when we get done here. So as soon as it loads up. <laughs> Come on, load, please. 
Mm. As we wait for it to load. But uh, one of the things I could tell you about is what they call tags. Now, the water mesh uh, has to have a tag name on the actor called water. Okay, and that's what that does. Is it sends a signal to the engine, uh, the way it's coded in, to say that you're gonna. This is what a water volume, and when the player clicks to drink water or walk on it, it gives you that splash sound. So as you're walking or drinking water, that little tag has to be on the mesh. Because if you bring in a fresh mesh from like say, um, you know, the marketplace, you're importing one, right? Well, what will happen is it's not going to give you that effect because you have to have a specific tag. But let's go ahead and we're going to try to run into this. And um, hopefully the physics is far enough down. There you go. So now we have our physics, see, without the post-process. Now if we swim up higher, hopefully we'll hit the post-process here, I'm hoping. Maybe not. Let's see if let's head over this way. Okay, there we go. So now we're hitting the, the post-process. Okay. So it's pretty kind of it's pretty cool. It's a unique, neat feature. Okay, and if if this ain't tagged correctly, and I'll show you the tags here in a minute, you won't be getting these effects. And if the post process is not in located correctly, you'll get this clear, no water. It's nice, and you know, there's nothing there. Okay, you don't get the blur, you don't get the colors, stuff like that. Now, what I recommend too is if you want a particular color of water that you see in the game. Um, go to that water body in the editor, look for it, and get the physics, the post-process, and all that. Okay, we're getting ready to drown here, so let's, let's swim out. All right, so we're there. All right, so now as we swim out and we, we get away from the physics, we should drop. Okay, so I'll hit escape here. Now, so the water mesh. So let's go to our world outline, go to water, and we see the water mesh here. Now, on the water mesh, on the details, you can type here, you should be able to type water and um, on the static mesh, sorry. And we should be seeing, why ain't that showing up? There should be a tag. Am I in the wrong spot? Let's see. Let's make sure I'm not connected to anything else. But the mesh should have a tag called water. And let's see if we can find that tag. Um, I tried to search for it, but it's not showing, so there should be a tag. Oh, here it is. Down here. See, it's making me look like a liar. It's, it's causing issues. But if you click here on the tag, uh, the uh, mesh itself up here, the instance of it, you come down here, you're going to see this tag called water. That has to be on the mesh for it to register that the player is drinking water and that they are um, in water walking on it stuff like that okay but not swimming the swimming part is handled with your physics okay now if you notice what I was saying before is if you don't have your post process lined up and you don't have your physics volumes lined up correctly what will happen is you'll get that strange clear uh, effect as you're diving in the water okay so you have to have it set just right so it's lined with the top of the surface of the water for the player camera so it will give you the correct effect. Okay, so I'm going to try to slow it down here and kind of give you an example here. Let's see. Real quick, we're swimming back. Wow, this is really, I'm way off out here, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. So let's, okay, here we go. So now, notice how it's kind of blurry above the water but as we get a little bit there. So you just got to make sure these are set just right, like I said, for that camera. So that effect when the player hits the water, they get this effect, and it's not all clear and stuff, okay? Um, so that's basically what you do. And to, to set it up, like I said, you have to have that tag. And if we, if we move this, like I just, you know, like I was telling you, we get this effect that it's clear until we hit our post-process, see? And if we come up, we're not hitting the water. We're not getting that effect anymore. Control-Z to undo that step I just did, there we go, it's it's lined up. So make sure that you do that when you group them together. It's the easiest way to do water. That way you don't have to go through the struggle of trying to adjust and do all that stuff because otherwise you'll be finding yourself going into here in the perspective button and you go from the left and right on a grid 
you're going to be sitting here struggling trying to line up all these boxes, these volumes, and getting them set in the appropriate spot. Okay. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're doing water. Uh, otherwise, it's you're just going to be f fighting with it. And if you have patience, though, and you want to do it the hard way and uh, drag in a volume from uh, right here, which let me get our uh, place actors, our modes. You go to the place actors, you can type in physics, and you can find the, uh, the physics volume, and you'll drag that out to your screen. Okay. So if we go here in perspective. Come out here and uh, actually let's go over here. Sorry. Let's head over here, get to a clear spot. So you just drag your physics volume out, plop it in. Okay. And then you got to set up all the fluids and, and, the, and the resistances down here in the details panel. And you got to set up the priorities and the fluid frictions and stuff like that. You can look at the Funcom setups and get it just right so it has the uh, Conan feel. And then you can do your um, post process, and then you can drag that out. But the fun part about that is then you got to set up all these things here and set it up like the water post process volumes and all that stuff. And it's not a fun step, but you can sit there and play with it, figure it out. There's other tutorials on YouTube that will help cover those things. But the easiest way to do it is use the pre-game ones that are already set up. They work. They're optimized, so that way your mod will look good and you'll get the water effects that you want, okay? And then, of course, the water mesh, you just go to your content browser and you just type water. And we'll find that mesh. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, let's type SM. Well, actually, we might be close. Let me see. If you can't find it with just water, and you'll have to go through the list, you, we should be able to just type sm underscore water and you should be able to find it here okay there we go so if we drag this out we pop it in we got the water mesh okay and then there's the different waters you can uh water you can select from in here in your materials panel so like i said i recommend the funcom one just because it's easier and it's pretty much pre-set up like we did here i pasted it over and um you know very simple and then all you gotta do is go to your terrain, manipulate your terrain to where the depth you want and etc., and then just place this in and set it up and move it in. So an example, um, we'll go to landscape mode here. We'll go to landscape real quick. I'm gonna go manage. I'm gonna go new landscape, and this is just gonna be a little temporary little thing. I'm just gonna bring it up here. Make sure. Uh, let's go up a little bit higher. Okay. And uh, hello, TCS Nico. How are you, my friend? All right. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and hit create. And it's just, this is just an example. And then we're going to go modes. I'm going to go ahead and sculpt it. And then what you'll do is like, just pretend it's desert. You're just going to sculpt it around, right? Just like this, um, get your depth, what you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to sculpt the opposite. Sculpt down. Okay. Go back here. Click here. We should be able to play from here. And we should be able to swim. We should be able to get the physics effects. And there you have it. Okay. So all that stuff, Funcom's got it covered for you, the underwater effect. That's why I say it's a lot easier. To see, the caustics is built in the material, so you get the underwater caustics. Because if you don't, what will happen is you'll be struggling trying to set up all those things. And it's just, it's really a big pain in the butt, okay? So I'm doing good. Thank you. So uh, just keep that in mind when you go to do water, all right? I've had a lot of questions. How do you do water? How do you do the physics? Things like that. That's the simplest way to do it. Um, so just go find a water body in game. Look for the physics volume, the post process, the um, water nav mesh volume, okay, and then the static mesh volume for the water body, the surface part of the water, okay. And um, it'll be much easier that way for you implementing it into your level. All right. 
So with that, let me go ahead and delete this. And I think pretty much that kind of covers the physics and water. Uh, the underwater sounds taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about it. It's all done and set up for you. Okay. So with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and transition to my live stream and I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording, but I thank you guys for your support. Uh, visit my Patreon if you want to donate a dollar for my time putting on these tutorials. I appreciate it. I'm trying to redo the benefits thing right now. So if you want to just donate a dollar for my time, that's fine. I'm, I'm quite cool with that. I don't have an issue. You don't have to do more than a dollar, but if you want to do more, that's cool. I have different packages there. And I try to create these as uh, you know, fast as I can and get to them. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and transition to my live stream. So thank you guys for joining us, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.